Any experienced teacher will tell you about activities that didn't work as they planned because students didn't understand their instructions. Creating simple, easy to understand instructions is of paramount importance in any lesson. However, even the best thought out instructions can be misinterpreted, so teachers need to check these consistently. Over the next few minutes, we're going to look at how to construct effective instruction checking questions. There are two reasons why students' understanding of your instructions need to be checked. Teachers need to know if students have understood the instructions given. If students haven't, it can waste time in class. Instead of repeating instructions, it's better for us to identify which part of the instructions haven't been understood from the responses to the instruction checking questions and fix this. Students feel more involved if they're being checked on what they just heard. If they know they're going to be checked, they'll be more alert and pay more attention to your instructions. Pause now and read these instructions for a task near the end of a class. Can you identify the key points you think may stop the activity from working? Pause again and check your answers with those underlined here. Now you've identified some key points you want to check, pause and write some instruction checking questions for this task. Watch this teacher asking instruction checking questions for the instructions previously. Compare these with yours. Stone, do you want to listen for a minute? Oh, sorry, Sean. Sorry, not Stone. Sean? Yeah. yeah. What are you going to do first? Great. Lisa, what's the next thing you do? After everyone puts the paper on the board, we will take a piece of paper to write down their mistakes. Good. Or, what do you do if you can't find mistakes, Susan? Great. How many should you write, Jerry? Carry. Ten? A hundred? <laughs> How many? <coughs> At least two. At least two. So two or more. Okay, look. You ready? Oh, where's where's the tape? Sean? It's here. Okay. Oh, and one more question, Sean. Do you, do you sit down? Or stand up? <laughs> stand up. That's right. Okay, go. Stand up. <laughs> Use the question words on this slide to guide you when making instruction checking questions. Here are some examples. You can ask both open-ended and closed-ended questions when checking understanding. Variety is the key. Here are some tips when conducting instruction checking questions. Limit the number of ICQs you ask. Usually two or three is enough. Check the parts that are likely to stop activities from working instead of covering small details in your instructions. Answers should be clear and specific. It shouldn't be a guessing game. Variety is the key. Ask various types of questions to prevent students from predicting or guessing the answers without understanding the instructions. Make sure you have students' attention before asking instruction checking questions and pick students to answer instead of initiating a whole class response. Remember the two steps in giving instruction checking questions. First, identify key points which may break down the activities. Second, develop instruction checking questions to check these key points. Before coming to the try section of this training, pick an activity or task to give instructions for and then write some instruction checking questions to check students' understanding. Mm -hmm.